Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca and it's time. It is time to kit up a 190 plus colours diamond painting. So I did actually think about changing my schedule a bit to kit up um, something else. Uh, or do a different video this week because I have a couple of really long whip and waffles. However, um, it would have involved kitting up a paint gem mini set and I really want the new ones to be included in the mix up. So I need to unbox those first. So I'm here. We're ha you, you've got a long video week. So if it ends up being a bit quieter later on with videos, then you know I just wipe myself out with this one. But decisions have been made by you guys. So I asked in a video last Saturday which one to do, walking in the rain or outside the sweet shop as a over 190 colour diamond painting. And you guys voted. I have been tallying as I have been putting hearts on the comments um, and as of today I'm actually filming this on Friday. Um, Catherine's been home from uni and um, I was able to get a load of videos done today. I'm actually doing this one five o'clock at night so I might be taking a break part way through. Um, but yeah, I'm doing this one tonight because then I can have the weekend of no videos to do. But I I don't think it's it would even change. Even if we got another, it would have to be another 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, about 65 comments to have made a difference. I'm not going to get that many in two days. So the winner is walking in the rain. Um, it is quite a way ahead. Each of these is five. 50, yeah, so it's got 60, 64 ahead maybe. Um, so it would have taken 65 outside the sweet shop requests to have beaten it. So I'm safe to say that you guys picked Walking in the Rain. So that is the one I have to kit up. Um, a, lot of, a lot of you picked Walking in the Rain because you loved it. Um, a lot of you also picked Walking in the Rain because you've seen outside the sweet shop. Um, so you wanted one you haven't seen. So this is the painting that I will be kitting up today. Absolutely gorgeous painting though. Absolutely love both of them. Um, I will probably be starting when I do start with the complicated because I do tend to tip it on its side that way when I'm doing it. Uh, and then all this colour will be later. I'm not quite sure what order I'm going to kit things up yet. I know some people have said by colour, but then other people have actually said they prefer the symbols close together. But for now, what I want to do is I want to get the diamonds in the pots. That's what I want to do. Um, I may start working on it and then potentially rearrange. I'm thinking symbols going to work better for me because then I can put any close ones together. Uh, but the purpose of this video is to get the diamonds in the pots. I think that is a big enough goal for today's video. Um, I then may well prep the canvas. I'm actually not sure. I feel like it needs a rainbow cover paper. Um, oh. See, it's whether I go for rainbow stars or actually go for the rainbow diamonds. Um, I then have a couple of other rainbow ones that are a bit more pastel -y though than bright. So I'm a bit between the two. I kind of like the idea of using rainbow stars. Just because I have used the diamonds already, 
I'm just though I like the idea of using the dinosaurs as well I just don't think it necessarily matches that painting yeah I think I'm gonna go for rainbow stars for a funky one in fact while it's out shall I just do that so I'm going to be starting down here well I've already got the canvas out this is really thick let's get this ready for working on now with this one I will only be working on it one section at a time I am in no way going to do more than one section because I just can't cope with anything being that much bigger right I like to actually start putting these on this side um, I like to use a sheet to give me a line and then put my first one down across the line so I like this to be in exactly the right place going across because this is going to be my line when I'm actually working on the painting itself this is going to be the line that will stay there until I finish this whole row. So I want these nice and neat. I like a bit of an overlap, though it's not as precious across the top, but I can normally get it to sit quite nicely that way. And then this way, I'm not as fussed when I'm putting them down. Uh, I do like them to line up when I start off <laughs> but as long as these just go down that to me is fine as long as they're covering the adhesive up um, some of them will overlap a little bit more than others a little bit more skew if because and the reason for that is when I go to work on a painting I'll think okay it's seven o'clock at night maybe I can do a bigger section I may lift up a couple um, I also tend to lift up a couple so while I won't be working on huge sections on this one I can lift it up and I can go okay there's a lot of blue there okay the blue stops about there so let's make that my line and let's do that section because there's nothing worse than doing all of that lifting this up and seeing one symbol that you've done quite a few up there and only one on this section and then you end up inning and outing out of your little diamond pots so I prefer to make sure this row's lined up to give me a nice row and then this one I do it bit by bit as I'm going um, and once I've finished this whole row I actually lift these up and move them up get my nice line and then again put the row down that I've taken off and then normally what I'll do in fact what I will do when I start working on it is I cut this top sheet all the way down here so it'll be cut at about there and then I just have this showing for me, but the rest is protected. I can roll it up, do what I like with it. Because I'm probably not going to be working on this for a few days. It probably won't be until next Sunday's Whip and Waffle. Maybe I'll start then. Um, I'm just going to leave that top cover on and roll that up and bob it back in its box for now. So canvas is prepped. This is going to be the fun part. Epic. Okay, I'm guessing this one is first. We have three sheets of stickers. Three. Yes, three sheets of stickers. We have 192 different colours. Now, normally I would start kitting up and I would do um I would put all the stickers on and then I will put all the diamonds in I'm going to do that but I'm going to do it in bits I think because I'm going to get bored 
of one or the other. So I'm using this case. Uh, this was kindly gifted to me by Art Dot. So I will pop a link down below. This holds 240 bottles. So here's one deck. And then you've got a second zip with two more decks inside it. So you've got one here and one underneath and they are all full size bottles. The whole kit and caboodle of them. But I'm gonna start with number one. Um, I like to kit up from the bottom up um, just because of the way it tends to work on my case and they are too long i did wonder if they were too long to work let me just check how these are numbered oh they have the dmc number on as well so what i can do is just chop off the number one two three four etc because i never look at that anyway this part doesn't make any difference to me personally. I use symbol and DMC number and they now fit on the bowls. Perfect. So maybe let's do a row at a time. Do you know what? I may, looking at all these symbols and all the amount of symbols and things there are, I might have to make a video just about messing with the symbols or maybe I'll mess with them and then let you guys know what I decided to do. But as much as colour might work, sometimes I often work later at night um, and sometimes I find that what, what I think is a brown symbol is actually green, for example and I can potentially confuse myself even more doing it by colour. I do every other painting by symbol. So I think if I do it by symbol, I'm not going to be as likely to get messed up with it um, and get things wrong, which I'd rather not do. Okay, first row. I think we may end up with extras before I've even started. Oh, I need a, I need a no lines tray. That's a zesty one. You should know better. I want a full size one. Okay. Oh, have we got static. We've got static. Okay, I can imagine this now being part one. <laughs> yeah, that has got so much static. Okay, okay. So what happens when we have resin diamonds and I thought, you know what, let's get this kitted up. Let's see what the next one's like. I'm just going to stick, that's not even full. I'm just going to see if it is all of them or if it's just a few bags. No, it's all of them. Can you see? Okay. Is that one the same? That one is the same. Okay, these are all jumping. So what I, th okay, scratch that. What I'm gonna do is, trying to think what's best here to do I think they're going to need dryer sheets but I don't know whether to grab dryer sheets do this for an hour or so hour or hour and a half call it part one and then come back and do the rest next week uh, and it will actually be next week for me I'll put it aside I'll do some more next week and actually do this as a process um, because I don't want to I don't want to be I don't want to start it being wound up 
but I also want to do it right. And I don't know if just putting a dryer sheet in these and leaving them to sit is going to do it all by itself. Not quick enough anyway. Um, I tend to need to agitate them and I don't want to sit here and agitate them all. I'd kind of rather get a dryer sheet, stick it in and around the pots and do it that way. But I am going to end up with some extras. Now, because this case holds 240 colours and this one is 192, I actually have 48 bottles that I can use for my extras. So the likes of this 154 that I have more of, I can use some of these extra bottles. So I think I'm gonna to get to the point of getting them all out of the bags, but just go for slow and steady wins the race. Because I love kitting up. Um, and static, while it's annoying, it's sort of, it's hard to control. I reckon there'll be some bags in here that will be completely fine. Um, but resin diamonds, they just, they're the better diamonds, but they can have problems with static that other diamonds don't. And there's not much, like you can do some things to solve it, but occasionally things just slip through and there's not much you can do about it. So, I kind of feel like I just want to deal with it, but set a time limit deal with it. So, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set myself a time limit on how long, or whether I do it per sticker sheets, per rows. I will see how far I'm getting um, to decide, but I'm going to go grab some dryer sheets and some stickers to put the extras in and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back with dryer sheets. So, let's see how we go. So I've got a piece here. Oh, I forgot I put a hole in the bottom of the bag, didn't I? <laughs> I put a hole in the bottom of the bag because it can help with airflow and airflow can help you get static diamonds out of the bag. Though of course, they've all just fallen out of the bag. And this is probably gonna cause even more static now because it is plastic on plastic. But let's see how many I can get out before they start giving me hassle. I'll make another one and get the top off one. See look, I don't edit my videos. Struggle is real people. You're not the only ones that struggle with static. We all do at different times. Check in all the diamonds are out of there, which they are. I probably need to be put in little bits inside here as well. Sometimes this is what takes the time because you don't need a lot of dryer sheet in there to sort of deal with the static as it's going along because the shaking of the diamonds to tip them out and back tends to be able to deal with quite a bit of it. And it tends to calm them down quite a lot because these are calming down quite a bit already just by actually shaking it, aggravating them more, you'd think. But because the dryer sheet's in there, they're actually hardly sticking. I don't even know if it's catching it, but they're hardly sticking to the side of the pot anymore because the little piece of dryer sheet's in there. So the dryer sheet does work absolute wonders, but when it's aggravated, um, and tipping them in and out does that and is absolutely perfect when you're working on a kit but it doesn't often help you get them in the bottle in the first place. So there's my first excess number. Really I want those further back. So how many is on each row? Two, four, six, eight, ten on each row and we said we're going to have 
40 something so I'm going to put it on the fourth row from the back um, so this will become my one on the bottom so I'm going for 40 first and I can reshuffle if I need to okay there's not many in this one so before I cut a corner off the bag I've got a piece of dryer sheet that I'm just going to try and touch as many diamonds with it as possible to get rid of the static on them and then try and get them out and then if I also cut the corner off to allow the airflow to only a tiny hole and see they've been attacked with a dryer sheet they've got a corner and they tip out like I wanted them to do from the beginning. It just extends the process a little bit, but it is easy enough to get them manageable. It's the fact that it extends the process <laughs> that with 192 colors can be a bit daunting, but I am hoping that some of them will be okay. but I'm not going to believe that they all are, is the way I'm going at the moment. So let's cut a few of these up. I may need some that are longer for pots that are fuller, but for these pots that only have a little bit in them, I'm just going to go for a small piece. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna have plastic bag bits all over this craft room. But that's okay, because that's a later problem. It's not a now problem. Still excited to work on it. Still excited. Okay, 159. This is a low one. So let's pop a small piece in. You're staticky as well, aren't you? Thought you were. The small bags are actually quite easy to touch all the diamonds and get the static gone. Often with the big bags, it's actually easier to get out the diamonds that aren't giving you trouble and then deal with the diamonds that are. Like a two-step process. Some of these are quite low. I kind of feel like maybe I'll pass on. I don't know how easy it would be for them to do with the software that they have. But like this one is a very, very low colour. But it's the letter M symbol. It'd be kind of nice to have the symbols that are close to each other or that are awkward. Awkward symbols as being the lower colours, you know, having the symbols that maybe look similar to something else or the less basic symbols as the lower colours and have the easy to read symbols as the high colours. Be kind of nice, but it is quite a process even to get a high colour painting, never mind, figure out the symbols for it all. Because I know even when we checked the symbols for our painting, until you're actually doing it or kitting it up, there are some things that you just don't see. Um, no matter how much you look and check, just does not become obvious until you're actually doing the painting. And all the symbols, the checks are, are there any duplicates? And with this one, I can imagine it took an absolute eternity to check all the symbols. Never mind, check which ones are used for which colours. Right. Okay, we're getting a rhythm now. 
we're definitely getting in a rhythm i have got a big bin down here to the side of me um that is used as the sort of shop bin so i'm just gonna throw the bags in there i could pull down my little bin that i often use for kitting up and things but i feel like it's just going to be something else on this desk and i feel like i've kind of got enough going on sometimes you just need to go nope too much pretty colors we're still on the 100s of dmc's get it shook up with its little sheet i do keep cross checking the dmc numbers as i'm going down i don't think i pulled any of these diamonds out when i did an unboxing but you never know i might have pulled some out just to state how gorgeous they were and i don't want to accidentally put one in the wrong place because i messed about with it when i was unboxing it I'm rather excited to do this one though. I'm excited to do both. I will let you know, I was kind of hoping you'd pick outside the sweet shop. Um, I fell in love with that one the minute I saw it. I also love this one, don't get me wrong, but outside the sweet shop is the one that grabbed my attention um, and was an instant heck yes. I want that one. So I was kind of hoping that you guys would pick that one. <laughs> but I also didn't tell you for a reason um, as to which one it was that I slightly favoured because I do love them both. And um, I'm going to class this one, say so even though I, I absolutely love it, this is also going to be a mini practice for outside the sweet shop. And I will have my whole system down pat of, you know, how to arrange my symbols and how to, how's the best way to plod my way through a diamond painting that's 190 odd colours. And I don't have Pattern Keeper. With my Heaven and Earth design, I have Pattern Keeper telling me what symbol and what DMC number it is and everything. I don't have that with this. So, um, this is my practice one. And then when I do outside the sweet shop, um, I, can, I can do it without needing to figure everything out. I can just take the enjoyment levels and roll with it. Still some. Possibly should have cut the corner off that one, but I'm trying not to cut the corner off too many bags if I can because of them floating about everywhere. Not for any other reason. So as you may be able to see, in fact, there's one stuck to my finger. Just to show you, can you see there's one stuck to the side here? Um, just due to the static, they're sort of sticking to the side a little bit. Even when I move them about, they're hanging off the side of the plastic bowl. And I shake it up with that tiny, tiny bit of dryer sheet in. And now, as I turn them round, they're not sticking to the side of the bowl. They're rolling around with it and gravity is able to take over. And that's why you only need a small, small amount to actually make it work when it's in the pot and you're shaking it up. The thing is in these bags, you just can't get it to shake up the same way. So that's why we struggle to get them into the pots. But when they're in the pots with their little piece of dryer sheet, they're completely fine for you to work with um, and get things done with. I think this piece of dryer sheet might be done soon though. see how we go somebody was saying there hubby has a static gun and you just point it at it and it just gets rid of all the static but i looked at them and they were a ridiculous price 
cost me a whole lot more than the diamond painting and the case and all the rest of it does but I'm so tempted <laughs> I'm so tempted but no I'm going to do this in a few sections I think 190 plus colours the last time I had hugely static ones was actually the three paint gem mini kits I kitted up for a June waffle in 2022 I think it's the 2022 June waffle and I had three of them to kit up and I think pretty much all of them were static and it took me quite a long time um, and that was less than half of the amount of colours or if if it was close it was half the amount of colours so I'm going to be kind to myself and this has now become a mini series <laughs> to be fair I had it down as just the all-in-one kit up of this painting I don't think that would have been reasonable even if the diamonds had just tipped straight out I think I would have got to the point of been doing it for over an hour and split it into more than one video anyway because as much as I love kitting up there is only so much kitting up and chatting you can do and I've just realized that this is a bigger bag so I actually want a longer sheet because the dryer sheet works because of touching the diamonds um, so having a longer sheet will help it touch more diamonds that is also looking scratchy as anything so I want a new one try and get about the length of the bag let's see if I can get this to sort of go in and see if I can sort of shake it a bit rather than popping my finger in because when I pop it in with my finger around it they all attach to my finger oh that worked quite well the dump and shake method <sighs> put it in and shake 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 that's actually worked really well okay so we have now established from that that a small amount of violence is the way to get the diamonds to behave themselves there is the last few that are still sticking to the side but they're easy enough to get out I've already got a piece of dryer sheet in there so shake 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 and they've pretty much stopped sticking to the side I like it Okay, 300. Let's bob that one in there. Get rid of that. Another big one. So let's pop this dryer sheet in, push it further down, leave the air in the bag. So I'm leaving as much air in as I can. And I'm going for violence. Good job you can't see my arms flapped while I'm shaking it. <laughs> ah, joys of camera positioning. Okay. 307. In fact, sometimes these dryer sheets get more in the way when you're trying to get diamonds out. Yeah, it is. It's trying to fall out with the diamonds. I was going to leave it in in case I needed to give it another shake but it's getting in the way too much. So let's pop all those in. And I've got another one I'm gonna need another bag for. So let's put some more dry sheet in that one. And this is without cutting the corner off. So I've not cut the corner off these bags either. They just needed some violence. We'll see if violence works with the smaller bags in a minute. See if it works the same. But it works for those. 307. Sticker sheets. OK. 
Okay, three tens. We have two bags of three tens. So I'm probably going to need a few pots. I am tempted to leave it so that leave one bag of three tens fully in its bag, but I'll regret it when it comes to dealing with the static of it. So I'm going to be kind to myself and just deal with the bags now and deal with all of them. So, 310, more 310. See, there is quite a bit of static left in the bottom of that bag. So let's How much did that work? Did that work when I shook them up? It did. I wondered because there's less in there whether they would actually move and hit the dryer sheet enough. But they have done. So all the better. So let's. I've got escaping diamonds. Let's put the dryer sheet in the next bag. Silence, shake that bad boy. You might annoy somebody if they're sat next to you watching TV. But other than that, it's actually working really well. And I'm finding that the dryer sheet that I'm using, the big dryer sheet, doesn't look anywhere near as battered <laughs> as when I use my hand to pop them in and shake them about. It doesn't look, it, it looks like it's going to last me quite a bit longer before I need to change the dryer sheet. I might even get away with my next one not being as big and just doing a smaller one. Okay, that one didn't even want to come out the tray. Get rid of that bit of trash. Okay, so that's 310 and I need three stickers. 310, 310, 310. Pop these into my extras. So what I'll do when it comes to the fact that my 310s have run out I will grab hold of the next pot and I will swap the lids so I can have this nice sticker on my next set of diamonds. Get rid of those black bits about. Okay, 317. We do still have static. So let's pop in my piece of dryer sheet and I'm just holding the top with my thumb just enough to shake the diamonds about to touch that sheet because I don't want to have to you know actually fully shut it all again and then open it all again okay three two one Nice a bit of red. Now do be warned, if you do this without closing the zip tie again and send the bag flying, you may end up with a mess. But I am willing to take that risk for the time it will save me. And cross fingers that I don't end up throwing them everywhere. And do you know what? I keep forgetting to put dryer sheets in these, but I'm finding that they're not even sticking to the side at all. In fact, the only thing that's sticking to the side is a little piece of thread that seems to have got caught in there. And that'll save me some time, not having to cut up loads of mini dry. If I find they're jumpy in, the, in here, then I'll put a piece in with them. But if they're not jumpy, 
then let's save myself a job because all these little jobs that take a little bit of time add up and these are now coming out the bag pretty much like they should there is no huge huge jumpy diamonds so as far as I'm concerned this is working the best and how long has it taken me to find out this option? This is working so much better and I think quicker than any other. When I was putting my finger in the bag with this wrapped around it and trying to get the diamonds to touch it and things, you know, get the diamonds to go near it. I still ended up with a load of diamonds that didn't, you know, that were still jumping, especially with the big packs, with the big lots of them. But with these, I'm finding that they're then just pouring out the packet like they should. A couple get caught on the little ridge but they do that when they don't have static so this way is gold people gold let's do a memory card refresh and let's see how far we get on the next one if it keeps doing it like this then i think i'm going to get a full sticker sheet done before I hit that sort of, it's been an hour, it's been over an hour kitting up and save the rest until next time. But then I might, because I've done one, definitely one longer whip and waffle this week and even Sunday's whip and waffle was longer than I planned. I think I will do one of the sticker sheets this week but then maybe next week I will do the rest because I th ideally I wanted this in one part but I think to be practical because of the static three parts is reasonable two parts is my compromise I would prefer to do it in one it potentially will take three I'll squeeze it into two. Right, first row is done. We have progress on making things better. So let's chop my numbers off my second row of stickers. Ta -da. Don't need those. And then let's take that one out so I know what my next one is. Though my diamond should tell me. Stick these down. I also need to do all my sorting yet as well. That's going to be epic. What I might do is actually just take the bottles out of one of them and then start sorting my symbols. Anyway. There's no point in thinking about that because I won't be doing symbols till at least next week. <laughs> at least next weekend because this will get popped away on my shelf to be finished off de-kitting next weekend. Because I, even though sometimes I have a two-parter that I might have filmed a bit closer together, I'm not filming this one a bit closer together. Because <laughs> I have stuff to do. But I'm liking this. Now's the time to start seeing how long I have to shake the bag before I can get away with just tipping the diamonds in. Like, does it need, you know, you're not talking 30 odd seconds, are you, so far? Every time I have opened the bag, 
I haven't had to close it up and reshake it. In fact, do I even need it on this bag? I don't even need it on this bag. going to say things are on the up but it's too early it's too early to say that let's not get too excited because I can see one of the bags that I haven't even pulled out of here yet and I can see static so I don't think it's going to last long no there's static in this one And I'm giving this one a bit more of a shape because it's a fuller bag. But again, I don't know if it necessarily needs it. But my brain tells me, shake it a bit more because the bag's fuller. Are we going to get them all in? So close. Yeah, I don't think it's going to fully do it. So let's get a second pot. Trying to make sure my bag's as straight as a spout as possible. There is a little bit of static in this one, so I'll pop one of those diddy sheets in. Let's clear my rubbish. 400. You may see I do have AB numbers on the top of this sheet. I get to use up stuff is what I get to do. So when Diamond Art Club increased their AB numbers, we had to do our, redo our sheets for spare storage to include the extra AB numbers. So all the sheets that we already had printed, um, you know, preparing to be able to grab for orders, became mine to use all the blank ones at the bottom so i get to use those up and then we can get rid of the rest um we do only tend to keep like a, a, a smallish number printed but we don't print to order because it just takes too long we don't print exactly to order we print like x amount so like 10 sheets and then when they run out, we just print 10 sheets and do it that way. And it stops us needing to print like five different colours of ABs when you get a batch of orders that have ABs in them. So grab my next little lot. This one, do we have two? No, they are two different colours. So four, three, five, I can see. You see static in these already. Bash that against there. <laughs> I haven't been checking the gram weight on these to see what size fits in a pot and what size doesn't. But this one is 8.3. This last little bit is static, so I'm going to give it a second shake. And the main reason for that is because I am trying to fill it to the tippy tippy top. Dancing diamonds can be bad enough, but diamonds that dance that don't have far to go can be even worse. But that actually got them all in one bag, which is the ultimate goal to get them all in one bag in one pot sorry because if I do have any extras which is fair enough I ideally want to keep everything in this one case and I wouldn't want to be short by one pot because I didn't squeeze those diamonds in this one again is the same it's also actually the same weight 8.3 and just those last few bits at the bottom obviously didn't get to touch the dryer sheet and those ones shut off. Let's 
pop just a little bit in the top just for those ones that missed and there's one in there do you know what I always get extras I'm not fighting between whether it's 435 or 436 no don't have time for all that jazz I'm getting my work out today see that's what happens when you move your arm I moved my hand ever so slightly trying to get a better grip but didn't stop shaking in the meantime so there's there's another tip and trick for you this video is full of them when shaking a bag that's not set up um, stop shaking before you re before you adjust your grip and then you'll be fine so yeah don't move your fingers once you've got hold of it and that's it right four five one oh I'm actually back to really enjoying this kitten up now. Not that I wasn't enjoying it before, but static can be frustrating. Um, and while shaking them is an extra step I didn't expect, it's a lot more enjoyable than the putting your, wrapping a dryer sheet around your finger and putting that in the bag because diamonds stick to your finger or they get caught up in the dryer sheet that sort of screwed itself up and folded itself up because of the way you're holding it um, and yeah it just gets kind of annoying what I am going to try is I'm going to chop that top part off so this is a bit smaller to fit in the bag so I don't have to fold it at all when it goes in and it should be easier to pull in and out. But yeah, when it's all creased up, um, I find that diamonds catch in it. And as I say, when you stick your finger in with your thumb on it, then you end up with them sticking to your finger because of the static. Um, whereas this, I say, it's another step but it's not an awful step. It's not as annoying. And you know, if somebody's annoyed you that day, for any particular reason, just imagine that you're giving the head a wobble. Give your head a wobble. Shake them up. Sort yourself out. All that sort of stuff. So you can do all that while you're kitting up as well. It's like therapy. They do say that diamond painting is good for your mental health. And it's not just putting the diamonds on the painting. It's getting rid of static. As well. Oh, getting delirious. Do you think I've done too many videos today? I think I may have done. I have done a couple of whip and waffles today. A couple of shorter videos today. Um, and then this one is my last one and I'm going to get them edited because I have exciting Friday nights and then I am having the weekend off uh, and I think that's what's making me excited that and I finally have like I had a solution for static drills before I now have a solution that I like <laughs> for static drills and I think that's the difference I now have one that I'm finding it is hitting more of the diamonds so it's more effective it's easier borderline fun and yeah it just it works it's working it's working and it's making kitting up so much more fun especially when there's 192 of these oh, oh oh i've just got one without static you can often tell if there's static because quite often the bags are airtight 
um, so they're like this. When you open the bag, if the diamonds then all drop down to the bottom, you're normally fine. With this one, can you see a load of them is still sticking to the side? That means it's got static. So like when you open the bag, if they all drop to the bottom and gravity plays its part, then you're off, off to the races. If they don't, then put a piece of dryer sheet in and tell the diamonds off. Shake them, tell them who's boss, and then they'll behave themselves. And we can carry on with our lives. Oh, close. Close, but no cigar, so I'm gonna shake these ones too. Because I'm kind of enjoying this process now. Not that I'm annoyed with anybody, nobody's annoyed me today, but I didn't shake that one for long enough. But I'm kind of enjoying the whole, give them a shake, give your head a wobble kind of diamonds. I didn't shake this one quite as vigorously as I did the last, which I think is another reason I'm not doing more than one sticker sheet. Oh, borderline. Um, because I need to shake these as well, um, I think my arm will drop off if I get all the way up to 192. But my canvas is prepped. We've hit a snag. We've hit a snag that slowed us down. Um, we've now solved the snag, or at least made it a whole lot easier to deal with. So really trim down the time taken to deal with said snag, which means when I come to kit up the rest of it, I can just get on with it and get on with it on a roll. So I think splitting it into two is good. Then I may do a section off camera sort of get a section or two done, figure out how best to place my diamonds, um, what order, and then I might come back and let you know what I've sort of done. Um, because it will be nice to, or maybe I'll do a video on it, I don't know. I kind of feel like it'd be nice to get all the um, diamonds sort of placed out in the bottles out on the desk pull out all the letters numbers group things and try and figure out what if any of the symbols are similar to each other there are going to be some that are similar you can't avoid it with 190 plus colors you are not going to be able to avoid symbols looking similar um, so I kind of want to highlight what's similar so in fact you guys let me know there's time let me know in the comments down below if I so this is the first section of me kitting up we've hit the snags we've kind of solved the snags we've got a full sheet Full sticker sheet worth or we will have by the time I'm done in the case and ready to go next week I will continue to kit up the diamonds hopefully because we've now got a system and because I'll have some more time because I won't have as long a whip and waffle um, we will kit up the other two sheets which is one full sheet and one as good as full. We'll kit up the other two. Do you want a third video with me organising the symbols into my case and for me to highlight what symbols I feel are similar to each other? Or would you prefer to me to just skip that part? Let me know in the comments below because I can do either right 
that row. I did finish that, yeah. Because I've pulled out exactly the right number of bags out of this pack of diamonds, that's what's confused me. So let's get these on. And get the rest of this sticker sheet done. And then I'm going to go and edit my life away this Friday evening with another brew because I feel like all I've done today is talk. Probably because all I have done today is talk. But I've really enjoyed it. Um, yeah. And yeah, just let me know, do you want a video on me sorting out the symbols, planning the symbols, or do you just want to be shown how I've done it? Um, and I'll not waffle through it unless I'm talking to myself, which is perfectly fine, frankly, if I want to talk to myself. <laughs> to be honest now, I have Luna. I talk to Luna. She has no idea what I'm saying half the time but she doesn't talk back, so I have Luna to talk to. Um, so yeah, let me know down below. I don't have loads of videos like that I have ideas lined up for and things to do. I've got my whip and waffles, they'll stay. I've got my sorting out of my spare storage, that'll stay. Um, I've got no de-kittings at the moment because I've sort of switched to working on white Christmas a lot so because I haven't been using my decision wheel at the moment um, purple tiger hasn't been finished like I did a good few rows of it but then I've, I've literally stopped doing all others um, to work on white Christmas so um, yeah it's not like you're going to be missing out on something else I suppose it's just whether you want to hear me waffle about symbols and what order to put them in and it'll be slight organized chaos it'll probably be chaos that becomes organized <laughs> it's probably going to be the better way to describe it chaos that becomes organized which quite often is the likes of my logbook videos and stuff anyway because i feel like i sort of did my logbook video last month and thought oh it's a new short one don't need a lot completely forgot to put our December event painting into my logbook which is a bit daft because I would definitely be doing that one in December but yes one big project will be getting de-kitted and one big project is getting kitted up. It's like I can't stop with the challenges. Challenging myself. That one didn't have... Didn't have static. Oh, this one doesn't either. There was one diamond stuck to the side, but that was more of a... It's stuck because it might have been down when it went in, not it's jumping because of static. See, that's another one, 644, hardly anything, and it's an equal symbol, which is a dead easy symbol to read. Okay, we're back to static. So it's not every bag, but hey, beat it up. Beat up the bag and you'll be fine. It'll all work out in the end. It'll all be fine. Oh, come into my lime green. 704, beautiful lime green. How's 703 behaving? You're jumpy. You're jumpy. Too much excitement. Having an exciting kind of day. So let's get you in there. Calm yourself down. Anybody else talk to their diamonds? Just me? No? Okay. That's fine. I talk to a camera as well. <laughs> okay. 704 is static. I was kind of hoping my lime green would behave itself, but nope. 
it's all right. We'll tell it who's boss and it will give us no problems from here on out, we hope. Watch me drop them all over the floor or something like that. Right, let's have a clear up. Get all my bags. This piece of dryer sheet is still going strong. Still doing what it's supposed to do. Uh, this has got static, but not a huge amount. So maybe let's... Let's see how much we can tip out and if it starts giving us trouble we'll give it a shake. It does have a little bit of static but it is a lot calmer than the others. A lot more of a reasonable amount of static but because we haven't given it any dryer sheet I will bob one in. Okay, I know I've been going at this quite a while now when my battery starts to shout at me. This had one of my good batteries in. Normally lasts a full whiff and waffle length and it needs changing. So I'm definitely only doing this sticker sheet today. And I've had to put one of my rubbish batteries in because I use a battery up quicker than I can charge it. So my other good battery is still charging. So, I don't think I shook that for long enough. That or I didn't get enough air in it for the diamonds to actually be able to move about. Or maybe I need another piece of dryer sheet. I'm going to see if I can make it last. Because it's done so many bags so far and I don't have... I have about 13 bags maybe ish left to do yeah 13 bags of diamonds left to do before i've hit the end of that sticker sheet so let's see if we can make this last not like i can't get any more not like i don't have more sat right next to me but you know waste not want not i need to check it was the dry sheet that was the problem it could have just been me that was the problem we got static we do so I try and keep air into it and that's why I sort of grip it like that as well and then shake it all about do the okey cokey turn around that's what it's all about <laughs> see you can even sing songs think of another song to do while you're Shaking your diamonds about with your dryer sheets, trying to make them go in your pot. Right, I've got two in there. I think they jumped out due to static. Let's pop a little bit dryer sheet in that one because there was some that went in with a static issue. I think it quite possibly is the dryer sheet because I gave that one a pretty good shake. But I'm still going to try and make it last because then I can just throw it in the bin when I'm done and get a fresh piece next time. And that bag, bar two that are sort of being a little bit stubborn, oh, and the rest that I've just thrown all over my desk, this is when I know it's time to stop getting up. I did so well and then I mucked it all up. Um, yeah, that one hasn't actually had static in it, so this one does though. So we're still getting a little bit intermittent as to whether it's got static or not. But they're definitely quicker to deal with, I think. I know this is a long video. But I still think it's quicker. Okay, let's get those away and get some more of the diamonds out the bag. I'm not paying attention to how many I'm getting out of the bag. I'm just grabbing a few in the order that they were put in. And 
and then I can always pop some back. That's why they're upside down as well. It's not ideal, but it's the order they were in the bag. And so far, it's been that exact order, uh, DMC number order. So at the moment it is working perfectly. I don't want to mess with it. Because I'm already dealing with the other stuff. I don't want to go putting the wrong number in the wrong place because they've all got jumbled up. Thought I might have some thought some of those were going to be rather full and have to go into my extras, but no. Beautiful. Okay, 7.33. Do we have static? Uh, a very small smidge. A couple of them then. It's like they think about sticking to the bag and then they go, oh no, I'll behave. That's your levels of static. Okay, gravity's in charge. It'll drop down to the bottom. No static, no problem. Then you have, I'm going to think about dropping down but I might just do it slowly with a little bit of static and then you get the I'm not going and following gravity I'm going to jump here I'm going to jump there and if you move me I'm going to jump all over the place type static maybe we need to think of names for the three levels of static according to their jumping ability Maybe, maybe not. All right, this has got a little bit. This is the, I'm going to think about not behaving, but I'll oh, go on then, I will. I'll behave. That's that level, medium level. Or actually, low level in relation to static, medium level in relation to all stages. Stubborn ones were further down. Here we go. Okay, seven, four, one. Another orange. Definitely has static. You can always give the outside of the bag a bit of a wiggle as well, but actually, this shake in it does seem to get it touching more of the diamonds than the wiggle does. Makes a noise though. I'm going to be interested when I edit this to see how the noise levels look on the camera. <laughs> be kind of interesting. Right, 7.42. Gorgeous bright colours in this though. There's some really nice colours. And I'm looking forward to giving this one a go. Once it's all kitted up. Um, and yeah, seeing what it's like on the light pad and things like that as well. You really get to know what things are like when you work on them and how nice and things like that. Thing is, it could take so much time to have a test canvas done every single design to pick any little picky faults that aren't really faults to everybody it's just it's just not worth it okay one more to go so i'm just going to grab the one out the bag do we have static for the end or not yeah we do I was going to say this is a sign of how we mean to go on. But to be honest, it probably is. But anyway. Okay, done. That is me done for this week. Join me next week for...
page two and three, hopefully. I say we now have a plan, so I'm going to do. I'm hoping to do page two and three next week. I now have a plan on this. We have the canvas done. We have the dryer sheets here. I'm going to get rid of that one. I'm going to keep the dryer sheets with them. Um, I've got all the rest of my diamonds, which I will keep with everything too. I'll keep my stickers and everything else. Not my scissors and stuff, I use those. Uh, keep my tray, dryer sheet, everything. I will bob these all on the shelf in here and I will keep these up again next weekend, um, which means it will come up at some point next week after Sunday's whip and waffle. I'll go and schedule it in. But do let me know if you want to see the video on me sorting out the symbols or whether you'd rather just potentially see how I've sorted the symbols later or maybe even just have a photo if requested later on but yeah that's going to be it for this video sorry I am splitting it um, I don't necessarily like to well, I especially don't like to split up kitting ups but I think it's the best option for this one but I'm actually excited to do part two next weekend now, um, now that I can shake the life out of the diamonds. It actually makes me look forward to doing it rather than thinking, oh, OK, how long is this going to take? But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.